Okay, there we go. All right, so <clears throat> just a heads up, our next team call is going to be on November 4th at five o'clock Pacific, eight o'clock Eastern, fill in all the gaps with the time zones. And I have a special guest. It is a, she's a five-star diamond coach actually here from the Pacific Northwest. She's in Seattle. She is amazing, you guys. Her name is Vicki Roberts. You guys want to go stalk her on Instagram. Don't follow her, but go stalk her. She's amazing. Um, Fit with Vicki is her Instagram handle. But she is going to talk to us about time management because she is a boss. She works from home solely, you guys. Beachbody is her primary income, but it wasn't always. And so she just has some really, really amazing things to share that I think are going to really help support you guys all of us as we go into some of the busiest times of our season with the holidays coming up. So um, I think you guys are going to love it. So I want to make sure that you guys wrote that down, put it in your calendar. I obviously will create an event, tell your teams, Vicky's amazing. So I'm excited about that. Um, all right. So let's pop in just a couple announcements. Uh, if you guys paid attention, the team page, I'm just trying to pull it up. Where did it go? Um, Kiana had shared it. There was, there it is. Um, let me just see if I can share my screen so everybody can see this. Share, there it is. There. Okay, you guys see that? Um, just a couple announcements. Not going to go into all of it because everything is in our coach online office, you guys, and there's going to be way more information that's going to come out about all of it. Um, obviously, let's start with um, Captain Obvious is our six weeks of the work is live. It's launched. So many of you guys are doing the program and are loving it. I'm starting on Monday. I just needed to kind of give myself a week to get myself back on track and um, working with some of my crew to start on Monday. So if you guys want to start with me, um, let me know. I would love to kind of collaborate and maybe that could be an energy source for you to get your invites out and really kind of take charge with this. Um, it kind of brings me back to the P90X and Insanity Days. So if you guys are looking for an athletic, functional training-like program, be sure you go check it out. Tell your people about it, you guys. Any launch that we do, um, it's always a good practice to at least go arm yourself with information. You know, you might still be hot on uh, Morning Meltdown 100. Maybe you started later. Maybe you're still going. Um, full disclosure, you guys, it wasn't my jam. And about halfway through, I just kind of lost steam. Um, and I don't want that to be permission for you guys to be like, all right, see ya, quit, done, moving on to the next one. Um, you should always start and complete a program. But if there's one that is just like torture for you, then you've got to kind of embrace that and be okay. And so I plan to just kind of sail through the next week, um, doing here and there, walking, and then jumping into the um, to the work. Um, with that, uh, Amwala had shared that they are going to be in production for a on-ramping four-week program called The Prep. So that's what the four weeks of The Prep is. It's basically um, an introductory-like program that is going to help people prepare for six weeks of the work. Because you guys, you've got to understand and, and go do a little bit of due diligence on the work. It's not for everybody. There's a fit test, and Don nailed it saying, and one of my other coaches, um, a discount coach, She's like, hey, do the fit test. If you can't pass that, then it might not be um, a good program for you to launch into, okay? So that one's gonna start January 6th and will be available to people that have um, six weeks of the work. All right, so go check that out. Um, Bar Blend is coming out in January. People are going to freak the F out, okay? Um, the workout was demoed at Leadership and sadly, I had to miss out because I injured my neck. Um, going a little too hard with Amala's workout. <laughs> um, but you know what? I, I was humbled. And that was something that I was able to be transparent and saying, you know what? I screwed up. And that was on me. Um, and as a result, I missed out on being able to. But everybody that did it could not walk four days. And I'm still hearing from people that demoed it. Um, even the super trainers were in that tent, you guys, working out to Elisa's workout. Um, so Bar Blend, you guys go just kind of collect information about it. Especially if you're an athletic type person and love the work and that's your jam, somebody in your network is going to crave and want to do bar. And I really encourage you guys to start reverse engineering some plans to launch bar blend effectively because it's going to be a badass program. It really, really is. She is 
phenomenal. And if you've experienced her in our um, three week yoga retreat workouts, she's just a kind soul and listening to her on stage. She's amazing. Okay. So definitely be excited about that. Obviously it'll come out in December for a January launch and there'll be a coach test group and all that good stuff. All right. Um, one of the new programs, I'm just literally trying to rattle this off. Um, 10 rounds of Joel with Joel Freeman is coming out. And so I'm not going to go into that too much because it's a little bit far in the future, but basically what I want you guys to understand about these programs is start cataloging them in your mind, because this is when we rise above and become a really solid team is when we effectively launch these programs instead of just kind of scrambling at the last minute and going, Oh my God, the program comes out next week. I should start inviting somebody or I should start saying something. Now don't go out and start talking about all the future programs, but have a marketing plan on reverse engineering how to launch into the next program, how to effectively share it with your network and the timing that goes along with it. And we have a marketing plan that's in our units in the team page. So go review that. And if you need help with that, just let me know or talk to your upline coach and say, Hey, I want to launch it the right way. What's the best tactic leading up to it. Okay. Cause you should have an organized um, structure going into it. All right. Um, the monthly fix and to be mindset, they are changing that you guys probably got a member or an email about it. So they're now going to have a membership that's going to be offered to um, your customers, which will be a residual income piece as well for us. So go check that out and, you know, do a little bit of research on that. If you are a master trainer within to be mindset or, um, ultimate portion fix. Okay. Um, bod groups. So that was at the top, but I wanted to leave that to the end bod groups. You guys, um, it is going to be such a slick platform. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I wanted them to like have it released. It is going to be so slick. It's basically all the tools that we have in one, and you're going to be able to, um, share to your network, your social media. You're going to be able to connect your new customers coming into your, um, my challenge tracker apps. You don't have to do this invite only. They can be connected with you through the lead system and then plugged into your challenge tracker app. I mean, I really don't want to use this time to go into all the goodies that are happening, um, that are going to be, that are launching, but you guys are going to love the efficiency on how to run on a really solid. Target. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and, um, you know, if you guys have questions about any of it, please let me know. Okay. I'm going to stop screening, um, screen sharing cause you guys don't need to see any more of that. So anyways, um, I wanted to talk really, you know, leadership for those of you that are maybe newer coaches. And especially if you're, um, if you're coming in, um, and just maybe, you know, revamping your business or like, okay, I really want to take charge. I really want to do something with my business through the end of the year you guys don't count yourself out. It's October 23rd. Okay. Um, there's a lot of time left in the year and I know it becomes some of the busiest times with holidays and events at school and work and meetings and maybe travel for, I don't know, whatever. It's a lot. So I really want to encourage you guys to recognize right now, October 23rd, that we have a little, uh, over two months left of the year and what you do in these two months, you guys, will pave the way for what happens in your business starting in January. Okay. So if you just kind of, Hey, you know what? I've hit success club. I really just kind of, you know, enjoyed it. And, but you really want to make something of your business, you guys. And the, I'm talking to those that really just want to kind of level up. They want to hit the, they want to get to the new leader conference next year, or maybe hit leadership and go to the leadership conference. Like Kiana and I were able to, you know, and be a part of these experiences. Then if what happens right now, is what's going to serve your business and set you up for premier or elite status going into 2020. I promise you, you guys, if you take the gas, if you take your foot off the gas right now, your business will flatline I'm going in January. It will, it'll be so hard for you to get motivated for get set up because this is the time where people need our help, right? This is the time where we need our help. Let me just kind of give you some um, quick stats here. So leadership, as you guys know, is a five-star and above event. It's an invite only. You have to qualify to go. And I was honored to be able to go and represent our team. Okay. And so every single one of you guys was right in here in my mind and my heart and what I wanted to have you guys be there and experience because you can watch my stories and see my posts and read the nonsense that I write and not really truly get to comprehend 
what the experience is like. And New Leader Conference, the same. And I encourage you guys to know what it means to go to these events and what you need to do to qualify so you can really make a goal for yourself. We have 364,000 coaches in our network. 364,000. So for those of you that say that this is a saturated market, it's not. Out of the how many billions of people that live in the US alone or in the world, whatever, I don't even know how we're in the US, it's kind of sad. So if anyone has a statistic, feel free to drop it for me. <laughs> 364,000. Do you want to know um, how many of those people enroll at least one person or more a month? Obviously, we know there's the Ashley Molstads that enroll a heap more. Um, 21,000. That's it. One, on an average, one or more, 21,000. That's not a lot, okay? Um, so keep noodle on that. And there was less than about 400 people that were at this leadership event. Out of 364,000 people, 500 or so qualified, and I think there was maybe 300 plus that were there, in my best guess, all right? So um, you've got to understand the impact that you guys have available with this platform. And it's not how many challenge packs you can sling. And as much as that's what seems like it is, you know, ultimately, yes, we're rewarded greatly with our success club trips and the swag and all that. Speaking of swag, I just got a new backpack. I meant to show it to you guys. Um, but people are influenced by the energy that you have and that you project through social media or just when you're out and about and in your group settings, the teachers, um, that are, you know, at your schools, the parents, the parents. Yeah. all right, sorry, everybody is um, not muted, so I'm going to mute you guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna... There we go. Um, so you're, this is an amazing platform, you guys, that, that can reach a lot of people, but it's up to us to be able to get out there and communicate and share. We are not out there with a, an attachment to an individual to say, oh, you know what? Okay, that Leah chick, I am going to sell her a challenge pack. Never talked to her before. Haven't talked to her in 10 years, but I'm going to sell her a challenge pack, right? Like all of a sudden you've turned Leah into a sales pitch, into a sale. Like she is no longer a human being, right? We have an ability to connect with human beings. And the way that that happens is bringing them into our communities and allowing them to experience what we have. We're setting them up for an experience. And maybe they just need to start with Beach Body On Demand. Maybe they're not ready for Shakeology and have not totally drinking the Kool-Aid like we have. But when they see that we drive with results and we have a, an abundance of people that are following the protocol of proper nutrition, 2B Mindset, Ultimate Portion Fix, um, rounding it out with our performance line and or Shakeology, committing to a workout program because we know when we start and finish a program that's where results come from and when we're showing our results then they're going their attention is is caught they are going to watch and they're going to continue to watch because they want to make sure that you're the type that's going to stick through it and follow right and not be the person that falls off the wagon you know every 90 days and then has to come back you know because that's hard for somebody to be motivated with 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 us and you know sorry a little bit of real talk and i didn't really mean to go down this road but it's true, you know, when we continue to have these ebbs and flows of our own transformation, they lose belief in the system that we have available, right? So, you know, encourage, like having the proper pillars with the nutrition, the fitness, the community, right? And the coaching, we get to coach them. We don't have to be an expert, but we're an expert in what we've experienced and we get to project that to them, right? So getting out there and influencing them and empowering them right now to get their shit together, sorry if there's any kids listening, um, to get their shit together during the holidays because this is the hardest time of the year right now to be able to get to stay on track. P temptations everywhere. I mean, those of you that work in an office setting, how many treats come through on a non-holiday? It's donut day, it's national Krispy Kreme day, it is national Skittles day. I mean, it's national fucking something day, right? And there's probably just a plethora of crap that's coming through the office. So why not harness that and be able to kind of flip the script and encourage people like, hey, don't think of that as like bad and naughty and off limits. But what if this wasn't a temptation that just took you down that, you know, road of no return? What if you were the person that changed their mindset and helped them see that they could still go through the holidays and not be that additional eight to 10 pounds that is traditional for most American people? That is what the standard is between eight and 10 pounds of weight gain during the holidays. It's probably more now, right? 
so letting them understand and see the influence that we have um, with our products and our programs. And that's going to be building up excitement, doing Morning Meltdown 100. It's going to be doing the work. It's going to be talking about bar. Do you know how many people go and spend money at a bar studio? That's, I don't even know what they are around the markets. I mean, here at bar studios, like 160 bucks a month for 99 bucks, they're going to have access to bar and it's badass, right? And right now they have access to a kick ass program for those people that were diehard P90X people that are the insanity nutcases. Like this is what the work is. That's who it's for right? So don't just because maybe that's not your jam right now, you can still probably introduce the concept to somebody that might just be so grateful that you, that they learned about Amwala from you versus it coming up on their Facebook feed and going and joining somebody else's team, right? Because they got sucked into the lead system. So, you know, understanding that you have a platform and the ability to serve other people and recognize your talent. And the moment that you remove the fact that somebody is a success club point for you, then that's where the heart and the soul come in. And that's what they're going to see first. They're going to see that you care because you've got to ask questions. You've got to be serving them. You've got to be value adding in everything that you put out there on social media. You know, if somebody stops and asks you a question at school or in the office, like, you know, take a moment and listen to them and ask questions, be interested in them. I'm not going to, I didn't come back with a secret sauce of how you were going to hit five star by the end of the year. But I will tell you, if that is your goal, there's no reason why you cannot, right? Like if you're sitting here doubting yourself right now that you can't hit a certain goal, I can't hit success club this month. I can't hit success club next month. I'm never going to rank advance. Then that is where your business is going to stay, right? Because we have this like limited mindset and there was, we had keynote speaker, we had an amazing keynote speaker and he was doing flips on the stage and he was juggling and bringing people up on stage, making them feel very awkward and uncomfortable, but they were amazing. And I forced them to get out of their comfort zone, but it reinforced that their mindset needs to be shifted if they wanted to move their business. Mandy Kai was one of the coaches that um, got up on stage. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with her. She's been on the national wake up call a number of times. Um, and she talked about how she enrolled her coaches and, um, I will, I'll share everything that we get. We're going to share with you guys. Um, if you're ready for it, and that's what our main, our bigger team page. I know that my personally sponsored page is on here and, um, team empowered to change was my collective downline essentially. Um, we're going to share that information. We got a ton of really, really great content to really help you guys, but here's the deal. Mandy just got out there and talked about the business. She let people know the impact that they could make being a coach because maybe they, they were an athlete in their background, or maybe they just had a good social media presence. Maybe they just were a nice flipping person, right? She didn't limit herself in talking about the opportunity for them to be a part of what she's doing. And she didn't, think for a minute and fear that somebody might judge her for inviting them into her community to be able to experience what she has, the doubt that she had in this community before she enrolled as a coach. She didn't want to be a coach. She said no to her coach, I think like five times and didn't even know what a program was until she jumped in fine, convinced, right? You know what? I hate where I'm at right now. I want to move my life. And this is the only, this is really the vehicle that I have. Beachbody is that it's a vehicle, right? It's not all of a sudden I'm a beach body coach. I'm going to wear my you know, sandwich board and walk, walk around with business cards and flyers. Like nobody's going to join you to do that. They want to join you because they know that you have heart. They know that you care and that you're not afraid to bring them into your world and experience what you have, but you have to change your mindset. So if you right now are sitting here going, I'm never going to make it to new leader conference. I mean, maybe you don't want to, and that's fine. But I'm talking to those that are like, I want to get to New Leader Conference. I want to know what Taryn's talking about and being able to see these super trainers and work out in these smaller environments with other coaches that is an exclusive opportunity. I want to know what that feels like. Then get your ass there and find out what it takes to get there. Because Mandy Kai got herself there. Um, Chelsea Farmer is um, a coach that's speaking on our Seattle um, Super Saturday. She's number 38 in the network. And um, she was at New Leader Conference in February, which means she qualified 
to be in the new leader conference at the end of last year. So this time last year, she qualified to be at the new leader conference, which is always in February, by the way, and qualified again, which is very rare to attend leadership in the same year. So she went from two star to five star and had the points to get herself and her spouse there paid for minus the plane ticket. Right? So there is, no limitations to what you can do in this business. The only ones that are up in your head, right? And if you are not reinforcing the growth mindset that you need to have with some sort of personal development, that is what's going to hold you back. And that is something that only you can change. I can't motivate you by, you know, my success club points or the volume that I'm producing or the coaches that I'm bringing on board or my challengers that are getting results. Like, I can, that can be an inspiration and a motivation to you, but I can't physically pull you guys through and make you do it. I can't, nobody made me do this business. And a lot of you guys know, like I don't have an upline really. So my upline was my good friend from high school. Um, hi chef. Um, she was my good friend from high school. It still is. She's still in the business and she doesn't do anything, um, with the business, which is fine. I had to learn about it all on my own. So nobody told me how to do it or dragged me or held me accountable to it. I had to be accountable to myself. I found a success club or success partner. I stalked the people that were more successful than me. I asked questions. I got involved. I went to live events, which you guys, you've got to get to super weekend. Check your market. I don't care if it's three hours away. If you want to do this business, I mean, if it's three hours away, I totally get that. Actually, I wouldn't do it. Um, but you can host one. Anybody can host one. But these events, bringing people into your world and experiencing what you know that just is hard to project. Like I said, it was, it's hard to really give you guys like the full experience of what leadership was like, aside from my pictures and stories and our goofy videos, right? Like those are, some, those are things that will always move your business forward because people will see you at those events. They'll see you at Super Weekend. They'll see you at New Leader Conference. They'll see you at Summit. They will see you doing things with this business that they're like, oh my God, wow, she really was serious about it. He was really serious about kicking ass and look at him go, right? So like I saw Obi, dude, awesome influencer of the week, you know, like that's the coolest thing. Like maybe it's not massive successful points that doesn't make you a powerful influencer. Just showing up and being like there for people makes you a powerful influencer, right? And recognizing that, that that's, it doesn't matter about the points and, you know, all the numbers, but like, if you're making an impact in someone's life, they're going to build that trust and respect for you. That's going to ultimately want them to be a part of you and what you're doing because it's contagious because you continue to do that day in and day out. You're not floating in and floating out, but if you know that that's what you're doing and that's your season of life, that's fine. I mean, we, it happens to the best of us. We have things going on in our life, but if you're not addressing it, the root cause of it and meeting it with some sort of mindset overhaul or personal development, then you're going to be stuck in that place. And you're going to always want and wish that you had, you know, what the coach that was running next to you had now because they're at new leadership or they went to leadership or they hit premier, they hit success of 10, they got a new rank. And you're like, what about me? Why not me? Right. But why not you? Everybody has the same ability to be successful. It doesn't matter when you got involved in the company. If you got in the company a week ago, or nine years ago, 10, 11 years ago. I'm pretty sure no one's longer than me. <laughs> you know, like everybody has the same ability as me to be able to go and Kiana to this event, right? So I want you guys to draw the line in the sand. I want you to look at the rest of the year and I want you to reverse engineer what your plan is. If you have never done that, it is so fucking powerful to sit down and take ownership and take control of what you want to do this year and what you want this year to be, because people will lead by your example. If you have a team, even if it's one coach, if you have a team, they are going to look to you for guidance. They are going to look to you to be the guide into what they want to do. Like, oh my God, I had no idea that I could go do that. That's so freaking cool. Right. And share that with them. Okay. Hey guys, bar blend comes out in January. I'm in the six weeks of the work right now. And maybe you have no plans to do six weeks of the work right now. That's fine. Maybe you plan to do it in January. That's fine. You just have to have a plan. Kind of like we tell people that if they want results, they got to dial in their nutrition. And if they want to dial in their nutrition, they have to have a flipping plan with their nutrition, right? You can't just wing it and just hope for the best. And just like, you know what, today I ate bird seed and tree nuts. You know, I hope I lose weight. 
Like we know it doesn't work that way. We've got to teach our people that they need to plan accordingly with their nutrition so they don't catch themselves running through Starbucks, you know, or going through fast food and still kind of going back to the same thing and the same routines that they had. We have to teach them and show them how to do that differently. Right. And so by us taking that same concept with our schedules and looking to what we want to do, where we're at in our programming right now and what's next for us, reverse engineering that and projecting that out to your people. Knowing that two weeks before you decide to start your next program, how are you prepping for it? How are you talking about it? How are you inviting for it? Have you gone back to your old customers and said, hey, you know, when you started 80 Day Obsession, you know, like think back to your, your most successful launch or the, when you started as a coach, what was so successful about it and why? And go back and replicate that and make changes based on what social media behaviors are now. Because, you know, if you're doing the same thing for the last six months and you're like, okay, things are dying on the vine, then it's time to make a change because social media behaviors change. Social media changes daily. I mean, like, I feel like it's a big guessing game. We can never figure out what the hell we're doing, right? Um, sorry, I feel like my lighting was really, really shitty. So there we go. Um, anyway, so I feel like I can go on and on because it's really what I took back from leadership is the mindset piece and the dividing line if you're going to have a limiting mindset or if you're going to have a growth mindset and believe in yourself enough that you can be that um, Melissa McAllister or Ashley Molstead, whatever your goal is, you know, maybe that's not your goal to be the top coach. It'd be a lot of work, but um, maybe that's what your goal is because you're competitive and you want to rise above. You want to challenge yourself to get the, to get there. Well, the reason why they're there is because they put in the work. They listen to the national wake up call. They're doing their personal development. They are doing the four vital behaviors that are on the success club tracker, which is all laid out for you guys. And for those that have followed the success club tracker, but need something a little bit like, oh, I got to remember to do stories, you know, not to turn this into a full-time job if that's not what it is for you. You know, that's why we dumped that other sheet in that um, had just different, different reminders about IG stories and Facebook and all that kind of stuff to give it. Yes. Thank you. Rebecca has showing it on the screen. Um, so print it out. You know, if what you're doing right now, if you're stuck and you just kind of feel like you're doing the same thing, but getting no results, like isn't that the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over and getting nowhere, basically. Like change things up, just, you know, shake it a little bit. Do something different. Maybe posting your workouts at the same time every day are boring to people and they're just passing by them. Maybe if you're posting selfies of your post-workout and you're flexing and you're like, hey, you know, maybe people are bored of seeing that. Change it up. Show some clothing, you know? I mean, like everyone's clothes, obviously. But <laughs> like fall outfit of the day or... Do, you know, prepare a meal and video it and speed it up. You know, just see what people are going to adapt to. Go back to Facebook and get, just go like small and simple and go back to Facebook. I started going back to my Facebook personal page and I've gotten a whole different surge of, in, of interest in what I'm doing and serving where they're at and understanding what they need. And they wanted to hear from me, but I got scared about posting on my personal page because, you know, Facebook didn't want to get thrown out into jail, but also I'm like, maybe my friends and the moms at my school don't want to hear my shit anymore, but they ask me questions now and I get messages all the time, you know, and my Facebook group that I have, that's just a community. Like it's thriving. Cause I'm like pumping it full of value, just giving them so much. And we have so many tools, you guys just starting on the beach body on demand blog. If you feel like you don't have any value, start there, Find something that you can just pull from and that you can put out on your social media that might be interesting to somebody. All right. But that's, what's going to get you to rise above and get outside of any funk that you're in and just kind of doing something different and testing it and seeing if it works. You know, I told Wendy and I told Rebecca and I told a couple of you guys test that new, um, tracker that I posted. Like if the success club tracker was not vibing with you, try something different that might just stimulate a different energy in how you conduct your business. Right. But we can't take away from the fact that the four vital behaviors are what is the lifeblood of our business. That is what the, you know, diamond coaches, one star diamond, two star, all the way up to 15 star diamond coaches that are killing it in the business. That is what they're doing. That's what people are doing to hit Emerald over and over and over again, is they're just repeating the vital behaviors and embedded in those vital behaviors are connecting with a human being. 
And that's where it starts is connecting with them and making a relationship. There's no smoke and mirrors. I'm not running ads. Nobody's teaching you how to run an ad to make your business grow, right? And you might be like, well, Taryn, I'm maxed out on my Facebook page and my Instagram and you know, nobody's responding to me anymore. And I'm like, have you talked to everybody? Really? Like you've gone through all your Facebook friends and you've talked to them? I mean, like, I'm not going to say, go call, talk all your Facebook friends and invite them into a challenge group because that's like, eh. but they're on your Facebook for a reason. They're following you on Instagram for a reason. Now go find out why. <laughs> why are they still there? You know? So just little things to think about and to get you out of that, like, Ugh, I'm stuck. I'm here. I'm always meant to be, a, you know, an emerald coach. Or I'm always meant to be a diamond coach. Like you're meant to be whatever you put your mind to. And that's how I'll leave it. All right. So I really just kind of, I wanted to try and express what I got. And I walked away from this weekend and mostly the number one word that I can say that I walked away with is gratitude. Um, and it was truly, it was gratitude for you guys that have been such an amazing family for me and that we worked together for me to get there and for Kiana to be there. I mean, we couldn't be there without you guys, honestly. And we don't want to be there every year without you guys. We want you guys to be there and experience that if that's what your business is ready for. I have so much gratitude and gratitude for the coaches that stepped up and helped run um, the mastermind calls on Fridays for me. Thank you guys. I mean, Jess and um, Christine for running those for me. That was amazing. I appreciate you guys. Um, just the gratitude that you guys were interested in what was going on. You know, like it still humbles me that you guys are here. You know, there is, I don't know how many people right now, 18, I know some people have popped off, but there's 18 of you on this call. And wanting to listen to what I had to say from leadership and what I was going to, you know, speak to you guys about. So I have a lot of gratitude and I want you guys to truly know that. And if you can share that, you know, for yourself with your people that follow you, and if they know you truly do have gratitude for them, because maybe you wouldn't be a coach right now if it wasn't for their support, let them know that, you know, like, don't be afraid to get emotional or just pick up the phone and say, I just want to thank you so much for being a loyal friend or for being my first customer. I just had to tell you that. Okay, bye. <laughs> you know, send them a thank you card. I don't know. I swear, I sent three thank you cards out the other day just because, you know, and I just wanted people to know that I don't say it enough. I don't do it enough. And so that's what I wanted to make sure that I ended with um, you guys understanding as well. So um, is there any questions or anything anybody wants to say? Nine weeks in the year. Thank you, D. Um, diamond, Obi's going diamond. Um, oh, Tom, you're the best. Um, you're so welcome. Anybody have any questions or anything that they want to ask or say? Um, you can unmute yourself. Everybody is muted just because there's so much background noise. Or if you want to type it in the chat box, if you have background noise, I can project it for you. This is recorded before anyone asks. I'll put it, I'll put it in the team page. Everybody has on their calendar November 4th, right? With Vicki. She's our guest speaker. She's amazing. I really want her to see what a um, beautiful team we have. But I just think you guys will draw so much from her because she is completely opposite than me. And I think that's what makes this whole coach world go around is that everybody's different and applies their business differently. And I just adore her. She is such a great person and you guys are going to love her. But if you guys don't have anything else, Nobody wants to unmute, ask questions, um, then I will sign us off and I will post the recording when it's done. I hope you guys have an amazing evening and I hope you guys literally take something from this and do it. Don't just, okay, great. That was a really great rally call. Like do something, get off the phone and do something with it. Don't just kind of close your laptop and you know, like, all right, I'm going to go get ready for bed. Like I got dinner. I have to go to an open house for my daughter's high school um, next year but I got to do shit, right? Like I have to lead by example as well. So trust that I will be doing that as well. Um, so I hope you guys do apply something after you close your computer. All right. Promise. Pinky swear. Okay. Hopefully somebody got a picture cause I don't even have my phone in here. Um, but with that, I will sign off and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Just hit me up. If I can help you guys in any way, please know that you can reach out email, 
Facebook message, Instagram, whatever. Um, I got you and I will do my best to be sure that I can show up and help you get over any bumps, strategies, all that kind of stuff. All right. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.